Everybody, welcome back. Thank you very much for tuning back in. Now, uh, we said in an earlier video, in fact, it was the one just before this one, and we were saying that uh, our Bosch care package very kindly turned up. And uh, yeah, let's dig in and let's see what they've, uh, let's see what they've sent us. Yeah, so these are the 18 volt cordless hoovers. I did ask for those specifically. That was one thing I asked for because the other ones, I'll show you if there's one around here. I think James has taken it with him. You know the ones you see us use, the, the circular 18 volt ones? It's like a small Henry Hoover. But I thought these ones would be neat because they're just a bit smaller. They're just easier to carry. You can click them into a holder in the van. They're just a bit for small cleanups. I thought they'd be worth a go. So they're very kindly sent two of them. Ah, the heated jackets. Yeah, a pair of medium heated jackets. Milwaukee do the heated jackets. I probably shouldn't mention their name in this, but Milwaukee do do heated jackets. I never, I didn't realize anybody else did them. And then I saw on their website the Bosch set did them as well. So yeah, a pair of heated jackets might come in handy for winter. I think the idea is you're supposed to be able to wear a fleece or something underneath it as well. Uh, is that where you... Yeah, all right, so that's where, yeah. Okay, yeah, so you put 12 volt battery in there and then you plug it in there and, okay. Cheeky, all right. Oh, all right. Oh, sorry. I love an electric screwdriver. It's fucking amazing, isn't it? It's got the floppy head, doesn't it? Floppy head's better. Fuck you on about, Sarah. Well, you know, the ones with the, with the bendy bits you can get in the holes and stuff. It's, so it's very cute. Okay, I, I don't really need to do this unboxing anymore. I shall, uh, And it folds over as well. That's so clever. It's very nice. Do you know what you could use that for? To go and put the screws in that are still sticking up out of you. <laughs> so, heated jacket. Yes, <laughs> that was 40 minutes of editing and cutting. Yeah. Right, well, I actually just seen Sarah open this. Yeah, a little Bosch 3.6 volt screwdriver. I did ask for this. I was thinking this would be good for um, socket screws. That's what I was thinking it'd be good for. When you get 100 mil, you know, the big 75 mil socket screws and stuff. Thought that'd be good for that. It does feel good though, it feels well made. I will trial all of this stuff on site once I actually get time and we, I, because half of this is to kit out the bucket truck. So as soon as I've got time to actually go through all of it and kit it out properly, you will start seeing us use all this on site. Um, but so far it does look nice. It's got a nice, it's got a really nice feel to it. This is the 12 volt inspection camera, which we, you've actually seen us use this in previous content. And it was one of the reasons I liked it, it's a screen. You know, on some of the cheaper inspection cameras, as you put the, the nose into the ceiling void or whatever, the screen starts twisting and you've got to start crooking your head with it. With this, you don't have to. And you turn that, when you turn that uh, camera, it keeps it straight on the screen. So you always have a straight true image, which I do like about those because the cheap cameras do, they just, they're just no good. If you don't know what direction you're facing in, it's very confusing. Ah, oh, that's neat. Okay, that's obviously an upgrade that mine didn't have. So you can put a 12 volt battery in it or you can have an adapter to put double A's in it. That's quite neat. Yeah, and then you just take that adapter out of the base, keep this to one side, but I like that. That's very neat. Uh, good effort, Bosch, you were thinking there. That's quite, uh, quite impressive. Ah, my favorite, literally one of my favorites. Probably one of the best tools that Bosch make in my opinion, I love it. The 12 volt circular saw. Honestly, that just, it replaces an 18 volt circular saw. It really does, it's such, that is a fantastic piece of equipment. It really is. For electricians, if you just want to cut tongue and groove, cut up floorboard, the big 18 volt circulars, you just don't use them. That really is the way forwards. I rate that superbly highly. Excellent. One of those will go straight in the truck. All the tools in here, and I'm using a pair of scissors to cut everything open. Nah, new laser line. Yeah, so the old laser line, which I got from Bosch, was just, it was just two lines. So you had straight across, and straight up, I think it was. But this one, you've got the side one now. So it gives you a 360. You have full 360 lasers all the way around. So if you're doing down lights, for setting up down lights in ceiling grids or anything like that, you've got a true, do you know what I mean? You've got, you can work out exactly where all your down lights go. I'm very much looking forward to using that. That'll be a very, I don't know. It should be a very good bit of kit. I'll leave all the links for these in the description below. I say that and I never do, I will try to. That would be a big time saver. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, well done, Bosch, so you are listening. 
you've made that magnetic. The old one wasn't magnetic. You are not indispensable. You can be fired. You know that. See, I, this is what happens. Like, I'm trying to be serious to the camera. I'm trying to do something serious. And my f dick of an admin. Yes, well done, Bosch. You are thinking. You've made that. You've now made that magnetic, which is really good because the previous one wasn't. Eight, fucking heavy. Nine, 99. <laughs> 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 Oh, it's a swift hundred there. Fuck it, we took this tow bar off Peter's van the other day. It is perfect for pumping with. Yeah, I'm a bit, uh, a bit out of shape, I'll be honest. We're turning the middle room. That's gonna be a gym. So we're gonna put some rubber flooring down. There's gonna be rubber flooring and mirrors and stuff and proper bench press and stuff. Oh yeah, I'm fucked up. That is gonna be, I need it as you can see. That's gonna be coming in content in a couple of weeks time. But we thought we were gonna keep this actually because it is, to be fair, it's perfect for lifting. It's heavy enough that it does make you I mean, all right, I think Asheville's got, he's got a bit of a gain on me there, but it is perfect because it's, it's proper, you know, it's got a nice feel to it. It's not what you see at every gym, but you know. So those were the laser lines, which you've just seen. So the next item on the list is these utility lights from Bosch. Yeah, they're the same ones as I've already got. You see these in the content. So just 18 volt battery clicks in underneath and it's just a little adjustable work light with a hook. They're just handy for just, I mean, normally it's for fuse ball covers, just small little areas, but I like the hook. It just means you can just hang it and you can dangle it anywhere. One of them, the small 18 volt drills. You see the, the one I normally use is the larger 18 volt drill and it is a beast. Three speed gearbox is a proper monster, but there are just times where, you know, the little narrow 18 volt drills, especially in the kitchen cupboards and stuff, small areas, because you know the angle drills, the 90 degree ones, you don't really see us use them. I've got a pair of them from Bosch in the van, but the problem is we don't really use them because they just haven't got enough torque, especially if you're trying to drill, you know, when you've got the 18 volt Bosch, um, not the 18 volt, the Bosch, the power change, that's it, the Bosch power change hole saws. You can't use those in the, um, in the 18 volt 90 degree angle drills because they just haven't got enough gut behind them. But these have, but they're still small and neat. So I haven't tried these before, but that'll be coming up as well. Is it a 13 mil chuck? Yeah, it is 13 mil chuck. Cause that's the other thing with the power chain stuff, you need a 13 mil chuck cause it's got a big shank. So you can't, when you know, some drills have only got a 10 mil chuck, it doesn't work. So you need the bigger chuck. All right, next item, one of those. You see this all the time and then you just put 18 volt battery in the back. That'll hold the four amp power battery. It won't, oh, so, sorry, the five amp power battery. You can put the eight amp power one, it just means you can't close the door on it, but it will hold the five amp power battery. Yeah, just neat for that sort of stuff. Just a handy light. These have all got that, um, I've actually not tried it. The little dongles, which you fit into the tools. I've got the app and I, no, I tell a lie. I've got it in one of these torches, but it means you can remotely control you can remotely turn it on and off using Bluetooth, but I guess personally, I don't use it, but the idea is you can adjust the, you know, you can turn it up, down, switch it on and off. You can do all of that from your phone. I personally don't use it, but it's one of those things that some people either use it and swear by it and others just don't use it. Ah, the mini SDS. Again, I want to try and get the mini versions of stuff. Yeah, this is the little small SDS. Cause you know, the big SDSs we've got, the big 18 volt ones, which are great, but sometimes the little small ones like this are just easier. I mean, I've never used one of these smaller ones, but I think it would be easier. Sometimes you don't want the great big, you know, hulking SDS drills, just a little small one like this would be ideal. There is a lack of batteries in all of this stuff. I'm not entirely sure why. I've got a lot of gear. <laughs> I've got absolutely no batteries and chargers, or maybe it is in one of these boxes. I'll have a look. Ah, okay. This is their bi-turbo stuff. Bosch bought out a range of bi-turbo. It's like their new range of equipment. And this is their bi-turbo grinder. Okay, I'm gonna put money that that thing is an absolute beast to use. We've got the previous version to this, which was their X-Lock. So it's got the X-Lock facility like that, where you can just pull it up and change the blades, which is, that is really good. That's a brilliant, the days of having to use the, you know, the, 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 the arm with the prongs, which you push in to twist. All of that's gone, you just use the, X-Lock facility, just lift it up and the blade literally just drops out. But this is their new model, the bi-turbo stuff. I'm not sure where we're gonna use that. Yeah, I'm sure that'll come up on a job soon though. That does feel like an animal though. That's a properly, that's a properly industrial bit of kit. That's gonna go straight on the cherry picker. 
Ah, okay. I've not tried this before. If you don't want to use a big honking grinder like that, you can just use a little baby one like this. I've never used it. I've seen it advertised on their website and stuff, but I've never ever tried it. You get little baby cutting wheels. Yeah. Yeah, that's basically what we have. Just a little baby. It's just a, isn't that cool? Just a dinky little, I can't put, I've got to get the tool to put the blade in. But yeah, it's just a neat little cutter like that. Yeah, that will definitely be coming out in content because I think that's going to be an awesome tool. Don't know 100% where I'm going to use it yet, but I'm sure it's one of those things which you wonder how you manage without it. I like that, it's very neat. Yeah, that's the big SDS. No battery or charger. <laughs> I'm going to have to email the mask about this. <laughs> that's a fat SDS. Jesus Christ. That thing is an utter monster. That is a proper beast. That is going in the bucket truck. That will be perfect for digging around feeder pillars. That will be perfectly suited for that. That is a piece of kit. That's some serious hardware. I can't use it because I haven't got the battery for it. I've not used these either. So these ones here are 2,200 lumens, I think. And these ones, I've never used them, but they're 10,000 lumens. Yeah, these are properly bright. Yeah, that's a properly nice bit of kit. I got two of them just because I thought, just for area lighting, just to light up, a whole, you know, you could light up the entire, of this, the inside of this unit with one of these. Let's see what we got. <laughs> You've sent me all the 12 volt batteries. All right, I've got a bunch of 12 volt batteries for the uh, cut off saws, but uh, just need the 18 volt ones now. Mm, okay, I've not tried these. You ever tried those, these little hex multi-construction bits? Apparently you can go through, you know, you can drill concrete, but you can also drill wood, steel, They'll do anything, apparently. I've never ever tried them, but apparently they're supposed to be quite good from the reviews online. Let's see if we can open it up. Yeah, apparently you're supposed to be able to drill out wood, masonry, steel. You can drill most things with those, apparently. It's like one bit for all. I don't know how well they work, but apparently, yeah, they're supposed to be very highly rated online, so I'll definitely give those a blast in content coming up. Discs for the Biturbo, the X-Lock grinder. These aren't actually any more expensive, to be fair. When I was apprehensive about getting the x-lock stuff because i thought then you're you're stuck to having to use bosch's blades only but as it happens they have been quite fair about it and to buy the x-lock blades they're no more expensive than the standard bosch blades they're literally pound for pound they're the same there's the i mean same some stores are slightly higher but i mean there's barely anything in it it's not you know they're not like a third more expensive or something and they're capitalizing on the fact that it's x-lock they're literally the same price okay masonry metal Interesting. I've never seen that. That's a disc designed to cut wood with a grinder. Wood, plastic and plaster. I've never ever seen that before. Didn't even know that existed. We'll give it a go. We'll try it. All right. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of... Uh, that's the end of this unboxing. So I'm going to get on the... Uh, I'm going to send them an email, ask them to send me some batteries, especially for this uh, Biturbo S30... I think it's a 36 volt SDS. 18 volt. I'm going to send them an email, try and get them to send me some batteries and chargers for all of this stuff. So once I've got that, you'll start seeing some of this in action. That's the end of this unboxing. I hope you've enjoyed it. Any comments and questions, put it all below. It doesn't matter, good, bad, indifferent, we don't care. Chuck it all below. Uh, otherwise, we will see you in a couple of days time on the next video. Thank you very much for watching and please remember subscribe because it really does. I know I'm reiterating it again, but it really does make a difference. So please subscribe and hit the bell icon as well. See you in a few days time.